What I'd like to talk to you about today is something known as advisor alpha. Now, what does that mean? Well, when you use the term alpha or beta when it comes to investments, you're describing a relationship to the returns. So for example, when you talk about advisor alpha, you talk about the value added, if you like, about alpha being value added or something added. Now, there is a fund management company called Vanguard, a very unique mutual fund manager in the United States. It's only 40 years old, but it's had a remarkable um, performance in the last 40 years in building trillions of dollars under management, mainly on the back of what are called passive or index tracker funds. And the founder, Jack Bogle, who's now in his 80s, is quite an extraordinary man. He's caused a great, a great change in uh, investor behaviour. And we ourselves use a lot of these types of funds because we recognise that the returns are pretty good. They beat most actively managed funds and the charges are quite low. So clients quite like them. It forms a core of what we do. It's not all that, what, all that we do. Now, Vanguard have also carried out an independent survey on this subject, Advisor Alpha, to try to attempt to quantify what's the value that an advisor brings to you. And what they've calculated based on their assumptions is that the, 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 the value we bring is about 3% a year. Now it's made up of about nine, eight or nine categories that make up that 3%. And believe it or not, the 3% isn't in terms of an extra investment return we would achieve for clients, but it's the effect of the advice on the total return. So for example, one and a half percent of the 3% is attributed to, attributed to what's called behavioral coaching. So I've, I've often thought that that's what we really are. We're not really advisors, we're behavioral coaches because the, the subject of investing is one where people get very fearful of losses of money, which I mentioned in my last uh, video. People are fearful of losing money, of, of value falling. And in that video, I did say that the fear of loss of money in shares is akin to uh, death um, in terms of independent research has, has proven that to be the case. So it's important that we keep clients on track. So behavioral coaching is we're helping people psychologically to do the right thing, which means remaining invested, invested, not selling when prices are very low and buying when they're very high, for example. So we want people to be coached to do the right thing. That's quantified that one and a half percent of the total return of three percent. Other factors that make up the advisor alpha are things like helping clients invest as tax efficiently as possible. I'm proud to say that 92 percent of our clients' investments on our favoured rap platform are in tax-free investments. I qualify that by saying that's, that's in ISAs and pensions. Of course, pensions are only tax-free until we draw the benefits. Um, also, a tax-efficient withdrawal order for taking income out of your investments. If you get it right, you can save quite a lot of money by making sure you withdraw the money from the least tax-efficient vehicle first, for example, cash, and then the last thing you touch would be your pension because that's the best asset to leave till last because it's inheritance tax free down the generations. And then there'll be other investments you would take out in between, such as from your general investment account, then your ISAs, etc. So they're just three criteria that you use to make up this advisor alpha. And I think it's important that people who don't have an advisor and even clients who do have an advisor, of course, are aware that the value we bring is actually very, very high especially when you consider that the typical annual charge an advisor makes is 1% of your assets under management. If the independently calculated value of an advisor is 3%, then I would put it to you, it's a no-brainer to use an advisor because on average they'll make you three times the return you'd make without an advisor.